penetration, but uh, they couldn't get Hart Hartman. He gets the corner. He's out to the 40. Good straight drop. It rushed heavily and hit as he throws. Herman back makes the catch, wins it, touchdown! Vinsler drops back and lofts a pass over the center. Caught for a touchdown. Throws, but he's got Gatlin open. He makes a great leaping grab. We're at North High School on a chilly Friday night in late September where tonight the Golden Raiders will take on undefeated Green Bay Preble. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, uh, Preble comes in, they're 4-0, 2-0 in conference and state rank. They got a uh, real nice ball club. Yeah, they do. A big challenge for the Northsiders today. But I was looking a little bit at the schedule of Green Bay Preble. They, they are 4-0, but they haven't played any juggernauts. They played Green Bay Southwest last week, beat them 48. They beat Green Bay East. 14-0, uh, and them. And their two non-conference games, they beat Wapaka, who's traditionally been a pretty good team. And then they played Whitefish Bay. So they haven't really played great teams. So who knows tonight? Uh, we'll have to wait and see until the kickoff goes. One of the things we've talked about each time we've covered North is the fact that they're going to have to grow within the system that uh, Coach Brixen brings. And last year, last week, we saw some of that growth. They actually had the lead in the second half against Manitowoc. Yeah, they did a lot of nice things, especially in the first half. And then Manitowoc, I think, just warmed down with that big front line. Uh, because we don't have all the weights and things for Preble, I don't know if that's uh, what, what that situation is. One thing Green Bay Preble does have, though, they have five new offensive linemen. They do have their complete backfield back. Brent Heim is their quarterback. He also plays shortstop on the baseball team. They have a, a second-team all-conference running back returning and their fullback back, but that offensive line is, is, is brand new. And so that's one thing that's maybe not as strong. Well, Dave Moss has uh, really done a good job for North at quarterback uh, considering he's been under a lot of pressure. Yeah, and again, I think that was nice last week to get that lead. I think Dave's got to, again, I like when Dave gets out and runs and when he gets out out of the pocket and things. We saw last week Mantwalk put a lot of pressure on him, and when he got out of the pocket, he could create things. He hit Schmitty with a couple passes. Ben Trilly made a couple nice passes. You know, if he gets out of the pocket, you know, gives himself some time, he can throw the ball, and he's got quick feet, so he can also run. It always comes back to defense, so coach, and last week once North got the lead, they were unable to stop Manitowoc. What do they have to do against Preble to uh, be successful? Well, I think there's three things tonight if Sheboygan North's going to pull the upset. Number one, cause turnovers. they got to create some type of turnovers. We haven't seen North have too many. Uh, Nathan Hummage has gotten a couple picks the last week. Besides from that, he hasn't uh, done that at all. Another thing, they, as you said, Marty, they, they got to tackle better. They haven't tackled the last two weeks very well. they got to do a much more consistent job of doing that. And third thing tonight, I think the last thing is get the lead. See what happens when you got the lead. They got that momentum last week. You know, take advantage of the lead at home and maybe you can pull that upset against Preble. Well, we're going to find out if these keys come true for Sheboygan North. We're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the kickoff for this evening's game. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. On the football field, you've got to stay focused and not get distracted. The same is true on the road. So before your wireless phone becomes a distraction, take a time out for safety. In bad weather or traffic, call later, dial sensibly, and use a hands-free device. You know, your wireless phone can be your best safety tool. To call for help, stop a crime, however you use it, remember, with wireless, safety is your call. It starts in your own neighborhood. When you care enough to give your time, to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, you'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. The time is coming. There's no escape from the day you retire. And will you be ready financially? Are you 
ready, dear? You still can be with investments like an IRA or a retirement plan at work. It's never too late. But start now, because if you wait... You're making a grave mistake. You may wind up working forever. Saving for your financial future doesn't have to be a nightmare. Choose to save. Testing one, two, three. We're back at North High School where they just got done announcing the starting offensive lineup for Sheboygan North, so we'll go through that. Starting at a running back will be number one, Cesar Ragoza. Ragoza is a 5'8 junior. At quarterback is number seven, Dave Moss. Moss is a 5'10 senior. Starting at the other running back will be Nate Kautzer, number 32. Kautzer is a 6'2 senior. Starting at center is Alex Hinsey. Alex will be going both ways. He'll also be starting on defense as a linebacker. But uh, on offense, he's the starting center. He's a senior, goes 5'11". Starting at a guard, number 66, TJ Engels. Engels is a 6-foot senior. He'll also be playing both ways tonight. Number 74, Tommy Phelan is a 5'8 senior. He'll be starting at a tackle. At number se And number 77, Sean McGee will be at the other tackle, and he'll be playing both ways also. McGee is a 6'2 senior. Starting at a running back is Nick Jones, number 80. He's a six-foot junior. At the end, at an end spot is number 85, Brad Schmitz. He's a six-foot senior. And the other end is number 88, Ben Trilling. He's a six-two senior. And uh, you know, we saw some good things from Trilling last week. He uh, made a real nice catch on a couple of balls and uh, has proven to be a threat on the offense. Yes, he has. And uh, two key players not in the lineup tonight will be Peter Reschke. Offensive lineman, played tackle. He got banged up last week, as did Derek Zuba. Uh, both players seem to not have as serious injuries as they first may appear, but we'll have to wait and find out about that later in the season. So those are two major uh, uh, components on offense and defensive line. So other players are going to have to step up, and uh, they've switched some numbers around. To yeah, one of the guys that's going to have to step up is uh, Lucas Wilson. He'll be starting on... Uh on offense, and he'll be number 70. He's one of the players that got switched from uh, 94 to 70, so we'll look for him on offense, but he also plays some defense. Phillips kickoff, and they're doing a reverse. Taking it is number 21. He eludes one tackler, and uh, there we saw some of that shoddy tackling we talked about in the opening that we needed to improve on. Brett Hobbins on the return, and he gets it deep in the North Territory down to the 41. That was about a 30-yard return, Chris. Way too big of a return. There's to be a flag down at the 32, though, Marty. There's the replay. Only wrestled down by uh, number 14 for North. So this is going to be Greg brought Jones. back. Greg Jones. Going to be brought back, but... Uh, well, North caught a little bit of a break on the penalty. Some familiar faces on the officiating crew. Tom Retzak, Larry Campman, Tom Hunick. And I should know the other guys, but I don't recognize them. It's too far away. I can't tell either. Uh, Adam Enderby, number 22, will be the tailback for Green Bay Preble. He comes in in conference of 253 yards. Second team all-conference a year ago. Green Bay Preble comes in number one in offense in the league, Marty, as well as number one in defense. Starting at quarterback for the Hornets is number nine, Michael Fisher. He's under center. First back through. Picking up a quick five yards. His number 42, David Van Leeshout. He was the uh, fullback a year ago as well. As I said, complete backfield returns for Green Bay Preble. Brand new five offensive linemen. They're averaging 230 yards on the ground, 308 per game. A little shift. Man in motion for Preble. Second back through this time. Trying to get to the outside is uh, Adam Enderby, I believe that is. And Enderby has stopped short of a first down. It's going to be third down for Preble. And short. Give Enderby a pick up a two or three. And it's going to be third and two. And just looking at that front of Green Bay Preble, they don't look as big as some of the teams we've played before uh, and have seen before, such as South and Mantua, who just have mammoth players. I think uh, North matches up pretty good with them. Big third down play early on here in the first quarter. 
Enderby's got it. He's hitting the backfield by Hinsey, and he tackles him and drags him down, short of the first down. Good play by Sheboygan North to stop Preble on their third down play. And a loss of three. There's a good open field tackle there. Alex Hinsey, just like that, North's going to get the ball. They get a loss of two. It's going to be fourth down and four. Way deep is uh, Eric Seafelt, and then there's uh, two return men in front of him, and then a single return man in front of him. Luke Hohn. No, Peter, Peter Herms. Herms is the. Oh, we got a whistle. And what happened was a bad snap, and to get the ball, he knelt down, and, it's, and the ball is down. We'll call that a turnover. Well, not really, but. Well, Herms is going to get a whole bunch of yards taken off of his. Uh, Going to be first and ten north. Yeah, that's punch it in right here, Dave Moss and the boys. Ball spotted on the 15. Loss of 16 on that play. Pitch out to Regoza. He's through the line. Scampering through. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Sheboygan North. Lightning has struck Chris. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, we talked about it. You said, you know, they got to get some kind of turnover, and they did. Yeah, they did, and good field position right away, and they took advantage. Why do you see it? Ragoza scampering through the line. Was going to take it off the left side and then cut it back. Well, I saw Preble even shift that way, and I'm like, well, my gosh, they have a pretty good scouting report. But Cesar Ragoza cut back across the grain and, and marched right into the end zone, and a 6 nothing lead. We'll just call that a six-second drive, Marty. Really? Patrick Phillips in to attempt the extra point. He's been uh, very good so far this year. Good snap and kick, and it's good. North, with 9.52 remaining in the first quarter, leads state ranked Preble 7 0. There you're going to see that extra point. Wow, talk about lightning striking. Holy cow, and it's uh, not that cloudy. <laughs> Those are the kinds of things you have to have happen to get you in the lead, to get your uh, momentum up. And uh, now I like to, you know, I, I always go back to this, and I know I sound like a broken record, but it comes back to defense. They still got to be able to, uh, you know, stop them. And they certainly did it on the first uh, drive that Preble had. No, that'll probably be uh, Peter Herm's only carry, but he had a minus 16 when he was called down on that snap for the punt. And uh, that gives Preble a minus 10 yards on offense so far in the first quarter. Let's get a big stop here. No big return like the last one. Kick is going to be taken at about the 19. Oh. And then he's hit down by his own teammate. Mike Worth caught it as kind of an over-the-shoulder catch, and then he bumped into uh, Matt. There you see it right there. Bumped into uh, Matt Winnie. It's going to be first and ten Preble, and uh, Coach Prochnow over on the other sideline has got to be beside himself this turn of events. First and ten on the 20. A couple of guards pull. Through the line of scrimmage wow. is uh, Enderby, and he's rocketed down by number 22, Eric Seafelt, on a fine tackle. Way to come up from your safety spot there, Eric, and make the play. Watch him fly in there, number 22. Right there, right from outside your screen to in your screen, making a tackle. It's a pickup of about four yards by uh, Adam Enderby. And don't think backs don't remember that, because that was, uh, he got up a little shaky there, and He'll remember that when he comes through that line again. Enderby again through the line of scrimmage, and he's close to the first down. He might have it. Coming up to make the stop was uh, David Thompson. They're marking it right on the 30, which would make it a first down. It's got to be a first down. Well, if you are unfamiliar with Green Bay Preble, they are uh, 
a powerhouse in track. They're calling timeout to get a measurement, but I, I think he's got the first, Marty. But they are a powerhouse in track, and they excel. I know last year they had a shot putter that was a champion, and uh, they always have very good sprint teams. I can't remember who I was talking to, Chris, but uh, at uh, in the summertime, Wisconsin had two of the top weight men in the country. Yep. And I think one of them was from Preble, and yep. the other one was from maybe the Milwaukee area. Yeah, he was real good. I think he actually broke the record for like distance. There's Kim Vogel. Kim is back with us again this week. She had an excellent game last week. She played better in Manitowoc or North. <laughs> Fisher inside handoff to Van Lee shout, and he's hit near the line of scrimmage. Maybe pulled his way for a yard or two, but not much. Now you watch for the setup. They've been coming up the middle, coming up the middle. Now watch for him to do something probably more on the outside here. Let's see if Sheboygan North can respond. Pick up a two makes at second and eight. Jesse Thompson is wide. To our side. Man in motion. Fisher straight back looking for the in pattern and it's caught and he's going to go to the house unless someone can catch him. Hummich got him inside the 20 but making a fine catch and run was Jesse Thompson. Well there you see the replay and Nate Hummich kind of slipped back and gave a wide open area there for Thompson to, to run there. Brent Heim is just 12 for 20 on the year for 133 yards. They don't throw the ball a lot. If you put any math into that, that's 10 throws a, a game. But he's very effective. Does have three touchdowns and two interceptions. First down and 10. Ball spotted inside the 20. We'll call it the 17. Make it the 18. Enderby, second back through, is hit near the line of scrimmage and wrestled down. I think Matt Rosie was in there, Marty. Yeah, Rosie and uh, I think Diener was another one. Enderby on the carry. Yeah, second down and eight. Give him a pick up a two. Fake pass going on the out pattern. Not able to catch it was Luke Nolan. They ran a play. It looked like they ran a, a end down and in, and then Hone shot it to the outside, and the pass was overthrown. Good play fake there by Heim, too, and with the uh, success of the running game, that does create time for him, and Heim just overthrew that ball. I'll tell you what, he's a scrappy little baseball player. I like him a lot. He plays shortstop for Green Bay Preble and hits the ball a little bit, but uh, he's a real good player, and... Uh, Someone you'd always want on your team. I'm sure he's pretty good at baseball or football as well. Third down and eight. Fisher straight back looking. Fires incomplete over the head of the receiver. I think his intended receiver was Brett Hobbins, but it was over his head. Incomplete. Well, we got a fourth and eight, Marty, and uh, I don't see any uh, movement by a kicker or anything. Looks like they might be... They may not have a good kicker. What a shock. Preble normally has some good ones. Oh, they've had some of the best in the conference. I mean, guys that have gone on to pro. And, playing uh, in the pros. Jesse Thompson, number 15, is in. He's wide to the left. And in the slot on that side is Luke Hohn. Now they tried to get him on a down and out last time. Let's see what happens. Fisher, rolling, rolling. Throws to the end zone. It's going to be over the end zone. And out of bounds. It's going to be incomplete. And North stops him. Well, they gave up a 50-yard completion, Chris, but uh, once they got down into uh, in the red zone, North held tough. Yeah, they did. You know, for a team that runs the ball, they, they certainly went to the pass awfully quick. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, uh, Brent Heim throws a nice ball. He zips it. You know, that time he just zipped it out of the end zone. Kautzer shifting out. To a wing spot out on the right side. Hand off to Rigoza. Trying to get through the around the right end. And uh, he's wrestled down after a short gain. Well, we're going to call it no gain. 
Wow. Second down and 10. I thought he got out there a little bit, Marty. Yeah, so did I. Huh. Well, don't do anything stupid here. We got the lead. Rigoza now, wing on the left side. Pitch out to Kautzer, trying to cut it back, and he's wrestled down near the line of scrimmage, maybe even behind it. Can you Preble, say? Preble, loss of, loss of a yard on the play. Can you say quick to the ball, Marty? Green Bay Preble is fast. I mean, they're not big, but boy, oh boy, they can get out there pretty quick. Loss of one by Nate Kautzer makes it third down and 11. Again, something that's been a trademark for Preble for the year for a lot of years, Marty. They just are they got fast teams and once again they have it again. Two wing backs. Trilling is wide to the right. Moss is sacked back inside the ten yard line. Wow. Coming right through there was Van Lee Schout, I believe. Yeah, well, I think you're right there, Marty. You're talking about a play where he's gonna kind of fake the, the run one way and then he's going to bootleg the opposite way while well, well, Leach out read that right away. Gilson back to punt. He got it away. A low liner. Enderby bounces away from him. Picks it up right at the 50 yard line. Ooh, had a hand on him but couldn't drag him down. We've got a penalty flag down and then finally making a stop and driving Enderby back was number 36 and we don't have a... No, I think it was Matt Rosie. Matt Rosie, okay. Let's see, we don't have that number on the program. He's 35, I think it was. TJ Engels had a shirt there, but he kind of got away, but uh, let's tack another penalty. Penalty number two on the special teams for Green Bay Preble. Good punt by Gilson, under pressure. going to be first and 10 Preble we'll have to see where the final spot is I think it's going to be back in their own territory mark it back at the 43 first and 10 5.05 remaining in the first quarter north on top 7 to nothing on a 15 yard Cesar Rigoza run after uh, the Preble punter was called down before he kicked the ball. Fisher looking, looking, now he drills it out there and he's got his receiver for a short gain. But uh, Seafeld out there making a the stop, making a fine tackle that time. Well, I don't know if Brent Heim was waiting for the uh, pump and go or uh, what he was doing there, maybe the ball slipped, but uh, maybe he was trying to read the uh, North Raider. If he would have came up, he would have gone by him. But uh, again, good defense out there by North. The old... Uh, Ben, but don't break play, and they only gave up a two-yard play there. Fisher under center. Sec fake to the second back through. He's rolling out. Fires it deep. He's got his receiver. Phil Hummich steps up and makes the play. Another interception for Nate Hummich. I thought it was going to go over his head, but he stepped back and made the play there. You saw it. Right at the end, he made a great adjustment to the ball. That a boy, Nate Hummage. You're right, Marty. Great turn to look for the ball. And again, a nice pass, but uh, that time the North defender was better. First and 10 North. Ball spotted on the 27 yard line. Let's see if they can get something going. Moss under center. Gives it to Kautzer. He's through the line, then pushed back at about the 29. Near the 30, it'll be a two or a three yard pickup. I'm gonna put the ball down on the 30, so give Kautzer a pickup of three. It's second down and seven. What do you have in your arsenal to take care of a fast team? That's what Coach Brixen that you see right here will have to think about. Because they sure do get to the ball fast. Well, fakes generally work against a quick team. Moss steps back, steps back again. Almost had the ball stripped. Now he's going to try and run with it. Gets by three tacklers before he's finally wrestled down over the 30-yard line. And then we get a real late flag from deep in the backfield. Well, let's see what that's all about. Definitely away from the play. I 
That's Tom Retzak on the left talking to a face mask on Preble. Tripping on North. Should be offsetting penalties, I would believe. Be the case. Hey, why don't you tell our viewers what uh, Larry Campman was telling us before the game about the tackle eligible thing? Well, basically, uh, he just said that you can't, anybody off the uh, tackle can't catch a ball if you slide back if you are a bigger number than in the uh, you know 20s, 30s, or 40s, or being in the 80s. In other words, you can't put a number 60 or 65 and kind of do a fake play or something, a tackle eligible situation. And so uh, that was a, a just something you do in high school. You do see that done in the pros. Second down and seven, Moss back, fires it over, making a nice catch with Schmitz. He's got the first down over the 40-yard line. Fast, fast team, fast pursuers, take a shorter drop. That's what Dave Moss there did there. Nice little just 10-yard out. Not even an out, maybe call that an old button hook. And uh, Schmitz is open. First down north. Pick up a 13 yards on that play, Chris. North at the line of scrimmage. Moss, quick drop, fires it right into Trilling. He's hit and drilled back at the 50-yard line, but give him a pickup of about seven or eight yards. Short drop, quick pass, same thing, opposite side, Ben Trilling. Trilling had some excellent catches last week. He's a big target out there, too. 6'2", 198. Hopefully he can run all the way to third on a triple. Yeah, really. Two wideouts for North, left and right. Moss straight back. It's good blocking up in front. Fires it over the middle. He's got his receiver, Kautzer. He had the first down, took a step back, and then he got drilled. I think he might have the first down, though. He's getting a great spot from the official. Yeah, they're going to call it at about the 47, cross midfield, and that should be a first down. They're going to bring out the chains, Marty, but like before, we kind of had a hunch about things. We're going to, yeah, just move them. Don't bother. What? Yes, it's a first. I thought for a minute they put third down there, but it should be first. First down. And the North Faithful is... Double. We're going to call it the 42. It's just a tad. She was the main uh, tackler on that. But he could them after the North. Second back. At great speed. And the first quarter. By Matt Rolsey. I'll tell you, the tackling's got to be better than that. they got to put a shoulder into him. Just too many yards. First and 10, Preble. Ball is inside the 20. We'll call it the 19. That was a nine-yard pickup by uh, that scat back, Adam Enderby. Instead of looking at your teammates, look at yourself. Step up, make a play. Step up and make your own play. 64 so yards for Enderby and eight carries this quarter alone. Pitch out to Enderby again. He's hitting the backfield and he's going to be hit for a loss. That a boy, Dave Staff. Yep, football coach and uh, physical education teacher. Over. Might have to call a timeout. I can understand without the same. What that? In 